Okay, the long-awaited car tour is finally here. Yay! I'm just gonna be showing you guys like the inside of my car and like everything that I keep in my car, like little functions and cool things. I decided to do this video because when I was looking for a car, I like to watch these videos. So hopefully it's helpful. If not, it's like kind of entertaining to see other people's car, I don't know. If you want to see this video, just keep watching and if you don't really care about my car, you can just exit out right now. It won't hurt my feelings. I'm not trying to brag about my car in any way. So if you have anything like negative to say or like hateful comments, I don't really want to see them here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the front of my car. I'm not going to show you my license plate. Just basic. I don't have anything done to the front of it. I lied. I actually have these like angry eye headlight covers. So yeah, that's what they are. The side. I got tires and uh, wheels. These are not the ones that they came with. So this is just the driver's side right here. Let me get in. It's just basic, okay. Yeah, as you can see, it's not brand new, my car. Okay, that stops after a while. Oh, the door's open. Okay, so this is just the little thing that it came with. And you can, like, GPS right there and type in address, stuff like that. Map. Um... I normally have my aux in because I like to listen to music on my phone, but there's the radio. Wait, click radio. Just have a whole bunch of stations. And this is the passenger side. And in here, I just have a, um, a tennis ball in case I play with dogs or something. I don't know. I have my window scraper thing because it snows here a lot so I don't have time to wait for the snow to melt so I'll just use this and scrape it off. Just have like important papers in here, some car manual stuff, uh, other random papers. I don't know. So I have these things in the little air conditioning and I really like them because you just stick it in there and it like makes your whole car smell good and it's like way better than those annoying like things that go right there because these are like smaller and it just makes your whole car smell really good. I only have one in right now. And these are the windows right here and then you can lock it and unlock it. You have the air, the temperature, how much air. Um, where you want the air to go and a good thing about this car is I have four-wheel drive right now it's in two and you could put it in four-wheel drive I have some pens and pencils because there's one of these little um, pouches right here so that's that there's like a regular outlet right here so I can literally just stick like my whole charger in there and if I have a car charger I can put it in this too so I have like two up front and then I have to press the outlet button this turns this outlet on yeah just basic car stuff the emergency brake right here so this is the glove box no what's it called the center console something like that but you can like lock it with your keys if you want to do that so in the first layer there's like two layers it's weird the first layer is just like one of these tray things and I just keep like one hair tie I don't know why that's random and then if you lift that up it's like this huge box um, there's a bag, some papers, um, I don't really know what this stuff is, I'm pretty sure this is like car stuff for when I put my soft top on, and then in the inside there's another car charger right here, so you can put, you can charge your phone in that way too. She just gave me one of these car fresheners, I think this is grape flavored, so now I got grape and strawberry banana, I'll show you guys the rest Here's later. Okay, time for the back. It's like really dirty, like the floor mats have a whole bunch of sand in them because we went to the lake the other day. So I didn't have the chance to vacuum that up yet. But otherwise, there's nothing really back here. It's pretty clean. You just have the seat pouches right here and the cup holders. And also you can control the windows from here too. It's kind of spacious back here, kind of, not really. Not as spacious as like a regular car. Like it's lots um, narrower, more narrow, that's the word. But yeah, this is just the back. 
Okay, my top is white. I'm pretty sure they're all white. I don't know. You have the speakers right here. I really like them. It has really good sound. Okay, time for my trunk. My trunk is so big. You can literally, like, lay down here. It's so big. And then there's the windows of the trunk. And this thing, you can take off the top, so you still have, like, some support. That's what this is for. I don't know what that box is. It has some wire thingy. Oh, and there's my fuel cap. Okay, so if you lift this, there's, like, these things. And you can just lift it. And there's a, I think it's a jump start cable and a little Jeep pack. So that's really handy. And then just put this back, put the mat over it. Oh, hold up. Put the mat over it and it's like it was never there. And then here's another speaker. Oh, that bird poop. That's disgusting. And I'm pretty sure the seat goes down when you pull it like this. So, yeah, you can, then you lift the head thing like this, and you just keep pushing down like that. And I think there's like a water bottle there, so that's probably why it's like that. So you can literally make the whole trunk go down. You can do the same with this seat and make it go down so that the whole back is open. So you could probably like sleep in here. I don't really know. 